Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make okra, or well, my version to okra soup. But I know it varies from country to country, home to home. It's very, very good and okra has quite a lot of health benefits. It's good for aiding diabetes, high blood pressure. So it's very, very good and it also has quite a lot of vitamins. It's very delicious and we eat it with something called eba or sometimes pounded yam. And um, eba is kind of like a soft and sour sort of dough. Um, I can't describe it. And so some people say it's got a soft bread-like texture, um, but I wouldn't particularly say that. But yeah, it is worth trying if you haven't. I eat eba with lots of soups. And I mean, there's so many in Nigeria in itself, but okra is one of the most popular ones. And my version is slightly different because I've added a bit of kale just to add a bit of texture and a bit of crunch to it because I like mine to be crunchy. Traditionally, uh, we tend to blend it into a nice paste and we draw it as we eat it with the eba. And it's usually cooked with beef and sometimes tripe, also known as shaki, cow foot, cow leg, um, and also chicken alternatively. But yeah guys, if you want to see how I make this, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the ingredients that I use for this recipe. First off, we have the okra, some onions, some scotch bonnets, some palm oil, a pint of fish stock, some red broom, some prawns, and this is just like I said, the basis. I'm going to show you some more ingredients as we go along. So let's get cooking. So first off, I like to wash my okra. I like to ensure that it's clean and patted dry. And then I just like to chop them into like one centimeter chunks. Alternatively, you can blitz these in a food processor or blender. And then I like to season the prawns with some salt and black pepper, same with the red brim. And then in a wide pan, I like to place my fish inside. Um, I also like to add just a tad bit of water so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan so soon. I will add some more water eventually. And then I'll add the prawns. A bit more water, make sure that it covers all the fish. And then a bit of lemon. I then like to add some lemon. And then one scotch bonnet. As you can see, I've just pierced the scotch bonnet slightly just so it can impart a bit of flavour to the fish. I then cover it and leave it to cook for 8 to 10 minutes. So guys, as you can see, the fish and prawns have been cooked down and the lemon just adds a bit of freshness and also that sort of zestiness in order to eliminate the heady scent from the fish it also imparts some flavor along with the pepper so now i'm going to take the pieces out and drain them on a paper towel and um, as you guys noticed i used a wide pan and this is to stop the meat from breaking up in the pot because in the past it has broken up way too quickly um especially for this kind of dish i need the fish as firm as possible so once that's done, I like to drain the stock and this is what I'm going to add to the soup later. Once I preserve the stock, what I like to do is drain the fish out on towel paper. I then tend to break it into pieces and remove any bones before I add it to the soup. Then I'm going to check to see if the pan is hot enough and then I'm going to add the palm oil. As you can see guys in the corner, I've added some bay leaves, a bit of ginger, which is like my secret ingredient, and I've also got some prawns and crayfish, which I'm going to add to this. And then I'm adding in my smoked prawns and crayfish. This is very, very common with a lot of Nigerian soups. You can get it from an African um, store. 
and it just really enhances the flavour. And then I'm going to add some Maggi, as you saw before, some salt and black pepper was added to this as well, along with the ginger and bay leaf. Now the ginger is option, but I love the flavour in parts with the okra. And as you can see, I've just added in the fish stock. I then add my scotch bonnet and then some tomato puree. Then I cover it and leave it to cook down for about 15 to 20 minutes. When that's done, as you can see, it's cooked down. I then like to add in my freshly chopped okra. Guys, naughty me, I didn't show you, but I added in the freshly chopped kale. You'll see it in the end dish. But like I said, this gives it a very nice texture alongside the okra. And I also forgot to show you, after adding this water, um, the fish. So I delicately place the fish into the soup, as you can see. It kind of cut out then, but I wish I could show you. But once you place in your fish and your prawns, you put it down on low heat and leave it to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And when that is done, guys, you serve it alongside the effort that I talked about and the soup. So this is the final product. Um, it's so, so, so delicious. I also added some additional chopped chilies, which also enhances the flavour. And yes, it's one of my favourites. This is me just digging in. I literally could not wait to just dig in. And it tasted amazing, exactly how I wanted it to be. But yes, guys, hopefully you found this fun and different. And I will certainly be doing a lot more Nigerian cuisine on my channel. I've been wanting to do it for a while now, but I haven't. And I don't know if you guys knew or not, but um, I lost my camera. So that's why I could not film over the summer months. And I was able just to collect whatever you know, vlog footage I took of my holidays, the house for my summer. And that's what I shared with you guys in my last few videos but yeah my lovelies thank you again for watching and yes i'll see you all in my next video bye